Y'all fuck with eggnog? I'd have a cup of it to feel festive. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Sure. Because you don't fuck with eggnog? I don't like it. I notice your lack of response and enthusiasm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ask me again. You fuck with eggnog? No. <laughs> you don't like eggnog. Nah, man. So I'll talk to you. Okay. All, All right. right. I'll be over here on this side of the table. <laughs> no, I'm coming back to you, bitch. Oh, bet. Okay, cool. I love eggnog. Yeah, yeah. I love eggnog. Of course. Spiked eggnog, normal eggnog, eggnog, eggnog. We love you, Noggy. I'm yeah. fucking with it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But why is it seasonal? Why is it a seasonal drink? This particular time of year, winter comes around, Christmas time, all of a sudden the eggnog starts showing up. All of a sudden it's in my fridge. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden I'm drinking all of it. I'm fiending for it. But why can I only drink it and thoroughly enjoy it during this part of the year? Like, what is it about the winter that makes me feel like this is the drink now? Thick. Why do I not drink it all year right, round? So it's thick. It's got a, a taste that lends itself very much so to to the you know to the festivities. No, that see, are have you li have you linked taste with time? Is that where you were going with this? I question? don't know. This is yeah, yeah, honestly. I mean, listen, like yo, if you. <laughs> Why can't I? I can't come up with shit. Well, like the spice me, pumpkin me, latte bro, thing. If you give me a, a chunk of turkey, a chunk of turkey, like a you know a white breast chunk of turkey, I'm at the Thanksgiving table with my family. I don't give a fuck where I am. No, it even happens then chunk, too. You give it me a chunk of turkey, too. and I'm in fucking Baghdad, bro. I am automatically transported what? back to be sitting in front of my my good old grandma Jane. In Baghdad? I thought you said Baghdad. I was like, is that your family or my family? No. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, those foods exist. Uh, 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 um, you give me, bro, perfect example. You give me a candy corn. You give me a fucking candy corn in July. You're right. And I'm at a swim party. You're right. All of a sudden, I got a skeleton outfit back. I'm trick or treat, <laughs> bitch. Like, I'm at your fucking door. Do you know what I'm saying? You're right. But, like, uh, but, 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 but I, I'll, I'll even go ahead like and raise that. this flag as well. So, so candy corn is a little disgusting, polarizing. Also, just please. I fuck with it. You, oh my God, dude. Do you like candy corn? No, no. I'm a normal human being. Okay, good. Because there's some, this is going to create a fuck. Who the fuck? I know, I know. Who the fuck? Know, guys, some people. Come, come back. Come to, back to me, people. It gives me a headache. When I eat it, it gives me a real bad headache. I, I, so sugary. Every time I had a, uh, those candies in my hand, I don't even want to say the word. Anytime I had those <laughs> candies, I would just throw them at people. Oh, yeah. They're good for pelting. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, so good. They're shaped like darts. So anyway, I, so I, go I, ahead. I, you, I, have, I, you have a flag? <laughs> no, I, I my red flag there is also like a candy, candy corn, a candy that I enjoy. How yeah. come I only eat it during Halloween? Is it because it's only available during Halloween? Why do I not seek it out year round? It's marketed <sighs> that way. No, but like I a really, candy cane. I really love eggnog. Okay. There's no reason I shouldn't be drinking eggnog year round. I love it more than it's probably one of my top three favorite drinks. Hey man, no one's stopping you. No, I know. I, no, I've just no, never no, thought no. of the it. question he's asking is valid because when you go to your grocer, like even even eggnog is the kind of thing that makes you want to call the supermarket a grocer. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like when you go to your local grocer around Christmas time. 25% of the dedicated milk cooling units are now cooling eggnog. eggnog. You'll notice that it's hit the eggnog. shelves in a major, like a, like a Tory Lanez album. But they yep. still have you know? a year round. They just don't have enough I don't, of it. I, maybe so he, what? They got it like hidden behind the Yoohoo or some shit? Well, as a man who's Middle Eastern and my father has a liquor store, <laughs> I know about shelving. Uh, well, what if it's a higher demand, you're going to get more of it. No, I get But they're definitely weirdos like Logan that's going to want it in February. You can surely order it. Surely, you maybe. Can, surely you maybe. can do you that. Can surely order it from a, a mass producer. Eggnog has been causing problems for some time. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, I'm Ca not the only one raising Ca these. Causing questions. problems. The eggnog riot. You heard of it? Uh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> now you have. Sometimes known as the Grog Mutiny. Oh my God. The Grog Mutiny yeah. was a riot that took place at the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York. On 24th and the 25th of December, uh -huh. 1826, it was caused by a drunken Christmas Day party in the North Barracks of the Academy. Two days prior to the incident, a large quantity of whiskey was smuggled into the Academy to make eggnog for the party, giving the riot its name. The riot eventually involved more than one third of the cadets by the time it was ceased on Christmas morning. A subsequent investigation by Academy officials resulted in the implication of 70 cadets in the court martialing of 20 of them and one enlisted soldier. They found broken plates in the barracks. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and also I heard it was one of the contributing factors to grandma being run over by a reindeer. That as too. Well, that too. Santa not. was fucked up. 